All right, so we're up. Um, we've left my mom and sister at this coffee shop here because we had to book out of our apartment a bit earlier than we thought we had to. Our flight is at quarter to 12 tonight, quarter to midnight. So got a whole day kind of to spend with our bags and that. But, so we left them at a coffee shop. We'll swap with them later. My dad and I are on the way to the States. Museum of Political, political History. Of Political History. Gonna go look at some history. There's a bus. Um, it's not as cold today. It's only minus six, minus eight, but it is uh, snowing quite heavily, which is a great way to spend the last day. All right, let's go. It's so interesting to see it from a different perspective because at home um, we're very western based and so we see all the western perspectives of, um, of historical events, media and of people and that. So it's nice to actually get the Russian perspective, um, learning a lot just from being here and just reading and looking at pictures. The English, there's lots of English translations but still there's so much to learn, so much to see. Um, yeah, just broadening your mind with the Russian perspective really enjoying it. So since we're going home today I've got to take every opportunity I can to walk in the snow. I'm not gonna see some for many years now. We're busy walking past this um I don't know what museum this is but it's a big museum full of tanks and guns and it's really really cool. Dad we can go into this courtyard. Jason this one's for you. This is a T80 tank. I know how much you like tanks. Oh imagine how cool it would be to ride one of these down towards campus and then like, rock up at the front gate be like hey what's up guys I'm here for my lecture these are portable rocket launchers on the left that's crazy only when you go to a museum or something and you see the mass instruments of war I think that's an ICBM nuclear missile only when you go to these places and you see the actual rockets and the instruments of war that man has created do you realize actually that uh, um, how bad war can be and uh, I know I haven't seen any active combat in my life, I was just saying to my dad. But it's only when you come to museums like this do you realize that the stuff's not fake. Even though it's got a nice shiny paint job and there's no oil on it or anything, these things are real. These things would have been launched and used to kill other people. And um, it's really weird just walking through it like in a museum with a church in the background and your phone in your pocket and that. But these are instruments of war that people built to kill other people. And as sad as that is, it's still important to have them around to remind us of what war is like and to remind us what we should try to avoid. Uh, sure. That took a nice beam. This is a Katyushka type rocket, field rocket. Those are oh, battlefield nukes. Yo! Portable nuclear trucks. Yikes. Those big things on top of our rockets that could be launched. Now just standing here in like a graveyard of uh, old military equipment. Scary stuff that we humans have created. Look here, they got all this stuff. 1778 cannons. 1591! It's a cannon from 550 years ago. Yes! Even like intricate engraving on it. Wow. Check at the size of this ICBM launcher. Good. God! The power to destroy cities and millions of lives, just chilling here in this courtyard. Good thing it's behind bars. Alright, so we're in the coffee shop, we picked up Mom and Kyla. Dad's gonna watch the bags now. See you now. Uh. Oh, that fresh air. 
and it's getting dark already because it is um what's the time it's 20 to 4 already so it's already getting dark we're gonna take a walk now maybe go do a bit more shopping and enjoy the last sights of russia kyla says this cartoon bird looks high <laughs> So yeah, I'm just lying here in the snow, enjoying it. We just realized that exactly 24 hours from now, we'll be home in the 35 degree heat. It's like minus six right now. So enjoying the snow while I'm still here. It's very, very nice. These are the pants though that I'm going home in. So I'm trying not to get them wet, but enjoying the snow. It's been a good holiday. See you later. Made it to the metro station. Um, these are apparently some of the deepest subway lines in the world. Look at this. Because they were built during the Cold War and actually in the times of um, nuclear nuclear fears actually. So these things are deep enough to be um, bomb proof for a significant amount of ICBMs like the ones we saw earlier today. Because look at this. Still going. Even the size of the escalator is impressive. But uh, yeah, going to the airport now. I'm all sorted. My dad and I just peeled off to stop at the monument to the um, what the defenders of Leningrad. <laughs> this giant sign behind me says the winning of the battle or victory. <laughs> It says they're on the monument, 1941 to 1945, the defenders of Leningrad. And here on the side is uh, all the statues of the individual soldiers and their prominent members, I guess, of the military that were involved in the, the siege. We're on the way back to the bus station. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. St. Petersburg, Russia, top of the world, still gonna hear American Christmas carols. Just standing by the um, whatever that is in Russian, it's McDonald's, getting a, <clears throat> a nice hot drink, having a sandwich. Mmm, it's delicious. Um, we're into the airport now. Our flight's only at quarter to 12 midnight tonight, so we've got tons of time still because it's only half a six, so there's lots of time still. So we're just chilling. Dad's gonna go check another monument just down the street here, and then mm, that concludes the trip to Europe for 2018 um, not like there's a trip every year but it's been a great time I've learned so much just from observing different cultures and seeing different languages in that and I guess that's what travel is all about we have uh, arrived at Tokovo airport last stop yeah. <laughs> I've made it to the airport one two three four people three bags and uh, I have yet to be pickpocketed despite the warning of people on the plane here. Yes, we're on the plane, made it. Let's do this. This is awesome. We just watched Frozen and um, Olaf's Christmas adventure thingy. That was good. Just in uh, time for Christmas. They're busy de icing the plane. Uh, as I said on the other flight, we don't have de icing at home, so this is awesome to watch. They're pouring some kind of very thick liquid onto the the side of the plane, it's awesome. We delayed because someone put the bag on the plane, they didn't get on the plane themselves. It's quarter past 12, we haven't left yet. Already 20 minutes late. But it's all good, it's all good. I'm ready for food. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm sleeping. It is uh, 20 past 2 in the morning, it's dinner time. Don't ask me how this happens, but um, looks delicious. Potatoes, spinach, chicken, some kind of salad, dessert, orange juice. Uh, it's like a piece of bread and some cake. I'm super excited and quite starving. Let's do this. Woo. Made it to Dubai. Uh, this is the first time we're actually getting off onto the tarmac. 
These guys have got so many planes they don't have enough air tunnels for it. Check it out. The sun's rising somewhere over there. And it's beautiful, it's super hot here. It's uh, 18, degrees. 18 degrees. Can't even feel the heat. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that sunrise. Beautiful. To actually see the sun in the sky is quite a novelty, <laughs> but it's great. See how Carla and I are matching today, and we're matching the plane even. This is awesome. to get like two hours of sleep on the first flight so I'm only running about 30 hours awake with two hours of sleep I don't know if can you see how bloodshot my eyes are anyway it's good we've only got like three hours and then we are home for Christmas Eve it's actually really cool I'm actually um, tracking Santa with the Google Santa tracker app because you know there's Wi-Fi on modern day planes just lost the connection now but he was just over Russia last I checked how cool is that but yeah, I'm in the bathroom because the lighting is fantastic. It's been a great trip and I am looking forward to going home, sleeping a bit. I'm gonna make a nice big review video of all the highlights of the trip and I'll make a nice Christmas video tomorrow I'm talking about some things I wanna talk about. But yeah, as always, the Emirates flight is great, the internet's decent and uh, I've just been editing a video. What's new? <music> kilometers later we are home Christmas carols are on food is being cooked we went to the shops Santa Claus is on his way he is currently in Pakistan he will arrive in about four hours and all is well good trip